After a month of testing, I determined that the Aura Ring is a great companion to the Apple Watch for sleep tracking, but it doesn't bring enough to the table to be a full-fledged fitness tracker by itself. Whoop has the potential to be the ultimate all-in-one fitness and recovery band, but it falls short because there are a lot of issues with how it gathers its data. The bottom line is that both of these trackers are kind of overpriced, but they each bring something unique to the table, and we'll get into that as we go through four different categories. And then at the end, I'll wrap things up with a conclusion of which one is best for you, and I'll tell you which one I'll be keeping. I appreciate Aura's unique design, because it's the only fitness wearable that I know of that comes in the form of a ring. After you make your purchase, they send you a fitting guide and you find out which ring size would work best for you. You then tell Aura which size you need and they ship it out and the whole process takes about two weeks. The Aura ring is intended to be worn 24 seven and it needs to be tight around your finger. I originally fitted mine for my right hand ring finger, but the skin contact isn't quite strong enough to properly track my sleep for the whole night because there will be periods with missing data. Fortunately, it slides on my left index finger with a tighter fit. I found that when I wear this size ring on my index finger, there's no issue with it collecting data. The only downside is that it's kind of hard to get off in the morning and it does leave a mark for a little while afterwards. Unlike other wrist wearables like the Whoop or the Apple Watch, once you have the Aura ring size, there's nothing you can do to adjust it. So if you gain or lose weight and your fingers change in size, you'll need to move your ring to a different finger and hopefully you'll have at least one finger that still fits correctly. The Aura ring looks cool, but I don't love the idea of wearing a ring during the daytime. And because I'm not used to wearing a ring, I found that I was always playing around with it when I wore it during the day. But it works like anything, I'm sure it's something almost everybody could get used to eventually. For sleep time, once you get used to wearing the Aura ring, you don't even notice it, and it's a much better alternative to wearing something on your wrist. It's just, it's perfect. Because the Aura Ring isn't perfect for activity tracking, which we'll get into later, it seems that a lot of people in the community decide to only wear this at night, and that's primarily what I decided to do too. If you've got another wearable device tracking your activity, there's almost no advantage to wearing the Aura Ring during the day. The other reason that I only recommend wearing Aura at nighttime is because it's easy to stick to a charging routine. Just take it off and place it on the charger when you wake up in the morning, and then it always has juice. Otherwise, it has a five day battery, and if you're wearing it 24 seven, it might be hard to find a time to charge it, and you might forget it while it's still on the charging dock. If you do end up wearing this all day, it will get in the way of some of your workouts, like when you're lifting weights, it just doesn't feel natural, and sometimes it's prone to get scratched. Whoop is meant to be worn on your wrist, but it sits higher than a watch. It needs to be about an inch away from your wrist bone to properly track your heart rate. And if you don't want Whoop on your wrist, there's an optional bicep band, but I didn't love this. I don't find Whoop as comfortable as Apple Watch because the entire base needs contact with your skin and it needs to be tight. Plus the band materials just aren't as premium as Apple Watch either. You can definitely get used to wearing Whoop, but even after more than three months of wearing this every night, I still kind of find it uncomfortable to sleep with. It's just too big. But during the day, and I'm not really sure why, I would still rather have something on my wrist than have something on my finger. Whoop is meant to be worn 24 seven as well, and it has a five day battery life. Whoop has a smart on the wrist charging approach, so battery life is rarely a concern. Just slide on the battery pack whenever you need juice. And if you don't wanna carry around the extra weight, you can charge Whoop off your wrist, but you may forget to put it back on later. The Aura app is more user friendly than Whoop because it has fewer options. Plus the syncing between the ring and the app is almost instantaneous, while sometimes with Whoop, it takes 10 to 15 minutes to sync and calculate sleep. Aura automatically records when you fall asleep and wake up and then breaks it down into light sleep, REM sleep, or deep sleep. Aura nails the amount of sleep that your body gets each night, which I think is the most important metric. Sleep cycles are hard for any wearable to keep track of properly, but based on my experience with other wearables and just knowing my body well, Aura seems to be way more accurate than Whoop and the most accurate that I've ever tested. Aura continuously records resting heart rate, heart rate variability, body temperature, and respiratory rate while you sleep. And interestingly, rather than just one HRV reading like Whoop does, Aura takes your reading throughout the night and then creates an average, which seems to be a, a much better approach. These four variables are compared to your baseline metrics and used to determine your readiness score. 
The score is based out of 100, and the score always seemed to match with how I felt each morning in real life. Aura will automatically add a tag each time you exercise and attach it to that day. But there are more than 50 additional tags that you can add to each day. For example, each time I have alcohol or have an afternoon coffee, I try and see how those inputs affect my readiness score. And as I've learned, alcohol plummets my HRV and kills my readiness score, even with just a few drinks. I usually feel awful after drinking, so this isn't new information, but it's cool to see this play out with real data. To summarize this section, I would say that Aura seemed to match how I felt in real life more often than Whoop, which tells me that it's probably more accurate. The Whoop app is centered around a strain and a recovery score. And just like Aura, Whoop automatically tracks when you fall asleep and when you wake up, and then categorizes your sleep into four categories, awake, light sleep, REM sleep, and deep sleep. Whoop does a great job of calculating how long you slept, and it does really good at figuring out exactly when you fell asleep. But Whoop's sleep cycles seem to be way off, and I plotted them on a graph, and I seem to be getting like an extra hour of deep sleep on the Aura Ring compared to Whoop. I consider myself a very healthy adult, and a healthy adult should get one to two hours of deep sleep per night. And with Whoop, I was always averaging way under that amount. Knowing the amount of deep sleep you get isn't critical because Whoop measures three metrics, including heart rate variability, resting heart rate, and respiratory rate, and then compares those numbers to your baseline to determine how recovered you are. According to science, HRV is one of the best ways to determine how recovered your body is, and Whoop seems to use it as its primary metric. But the problem is how Whoop determines your HRV. So let's get into that. Whoop chooses to determine your HRV during the last five minutes of your final deep sleep cycle, but it struggles to figure out when you're in deep sleep like I just covered. So the entire recovery metric becomes messed up. If Whoop can't even figure out when I'm in deep sleep, I feel like taking an HRV reading during a random time doesn't seem as efficient as taking an HRV reading throughout the whole night and averaging it like Aura does. Over the last few months, there were a bunch of days where I felt great physically and well rested and I know I slept well, but the Whoop band would tell me that I had a recovery score in the red and under 30%. Interestingly, my resting heart rate and my respiratory rate always seemed to match in both apps, but when I felt strong and Whoop told me I was weak, the difference was that I had a higher HRV in the Aura and I had a lower one in the Whoop app. However, Whoop does have an advantage over Aura in how it presents long-term data. Each morning you answer Whoop's questionnaire and you choose which questions will be in this questionnaire. For example, you can add things like alcohol consumption, marijuana, caffeine, or whether or not you had screen time in bed. And there are hundreds of other variables that you can add. And once you answer this questionnaire 30 times, Whoop will put together all this data and try and find correlations and see how these inputs affect your recovery and your sleep. You're probably only considering the Aura Ring as a sleep tracker and not an activity tracker, so I won't go into too much detail here. Aura tracks your movements to determine how much energy you're burning, but unfortunately it doesn't use your heart rate reading. So for me, this disqualifies it as being an accurate activity tracker. Or it doesn't track your workouts automatically, so after a workout, you'll need to log it by tapping the type of workout, adding the duration, and then choosing the intensity ranging from easy, moderate, to hard. Similar to Apple Watch, if you've been sitting down for a long time and you haven't moved, you'll get a notification on your phone after a couple of hours that tells you to stand up and move. The Aura Ring is meant to be worn all day, but due to the lackluster activity tracking, I think it needs to be paired with an Apple Watch if you care about tracking your activity. And the good news is that your activity data can be imported from your Apple Watch via the Apple Health app into Aura so that it knows how much you've moved and then it can make better calculations on your readiness score. But unfortunately for your Apple Watch data to stay synced inside the Aura app, you need to make sure that you open up the Apple Health app at least once per day. On the days that I didn't open it, I found that my workouts were imported, but for some reason my total amount of calories weren't imported, so it was like Aura Ring thought I didn't even move. And the data can work the other way around. You can take the Aura sleep data and import that into the Apple Health app or the Google Health app. The main point that I'm trying to bring home is that you can wear an Apple Watch or a Fitbit during the day for activity tracking and then switch out to Aura at night, and you'll still get the full benefits of owning an Aura Ring.
Whoop does an amazing job tracking your workouts. Once manually logging your first workouts, it'll learn which activities you do, and when it sees heart rate spikes, it'll automatically log that activity. Unlike an Apple Watch where the main purpose is motivation, on the Whoop, its main purpose is to make sure that you don't overtrain. But Whoop has a few shortcomings as an activity tracker. I found Whoop's heart rate measurements to be pretty spot on during cardio activities like running or biking, but as soon as I switched to lifting weights, it seemed not to be so accurate, and this affected my recovery scores. Another downside to Whoop as an activity tracker is that it doesn't have a GPS. So if you want your runs to be mapped out, you'll need to bring your phone with you. But at least with Whoop, it is an option to have it mapped out where it or a ring, you can't even track a run. Overall, Whoop is a pretty solid fitness tracker because it uses your heart rate to determine how many calories burned and to calculate a strain score, whereas the Aura Ring doesn't even factor in heart rate. But I think most people would benefit more from an Apple Watch because of its dedicated screen and because it just seems more accurate according to my tests. Whoop requires you to pay monthly and you have to pay for at least six months up front at $30 a month, which works out to $180. If you wanna pay annually, the price moves down to $24 a month, which is $288. Or you can go with the 18 month plan for $18 a month. Assuming you go with the annual plan and you plan to keep it for two years, the two year cost of ownership is $576, which is almost twice the price of Aura Ring. The base level Aura Ring is $299 and it comes in a shiny silver or a shiny black. It's $3.99 if you want the stealth or the gold color. So at these prices, you could buy an Aura Ring and an Apple Watch SE, which is my top recommendation, for the same price as the two-year cost of ownership as Whoop. Sleep cycles seem to be hard to track for all activity trackers across the board, and they can't really be relied on. If you're asking me, I think the most important sleep metric that a sleep tracker can achieve is time slept, and I think the Aura Ring and the Whoop both do a really good job of this. But you can get this data more affordably from other devices like an Apple Watch, a Fitbit, Amazon Halo, amongst others. But where the Whoop and the Aura Ring shine is in the recovery metrics when it looks at your heart rate variability, your resting heart rate, and your respiratory rate while you sleep, and then determine how recovered you are. If you're having sleep issues or you're just trying to get your health in order, I think the Aura Ring or the Whoop will be really helpful in determining which variables and inputs are holding back your sleep. Get the Aura Ring if you want the most comfortable and accurate way to track your recovery. It shouldn't be used as an activity tracker, but it'd be a great companion to the Apple Watch for those that don't wanna wear this while they sleep. Get the Whoop Strap if you want an all-in-one fitness and sleep tracking device. The Whoop Strap couldn't determine when my body was in deep sleep, which meant that I couldn't get an accurate HRV rating, which meant that my recovery score on a few days was just messed up. But even if you go under the assumption that Whoop's data is perfect, it's still not worth the $600 that it'll cost to have it for two years. There are too many other fitness wearables that bring better value to the table. And for me, even as the ultimate optimizer of my body and a huge lover of tech, I still find it hard to justify the $300 for the Aura Ring. But I work out every day and I stick to a pretty standard sleep schedule and I eat healthy, so I know my body pretty well. I know if I don't go to bed at the usual time or that I drink alcohol, I won't feel very good in the morning, but I don't think I need this to tell me that. So for me, I don't really think I'm learning anything new by having this device and I can't justify the $300, so I think I'll be selling it after this video. But like I said, if you're struggling with your sleep and your health, I think these devices will make a lot of sense for you. So that's all I have for this video. And if you have questions about either of these devices or you think I got something wrong, let's talk in the comments. So thanks for watching this video. I'm out.